Hey there everyone, Mazarok here and welcome to the Great Vault of April 5th. Already April 5th this year. Holy jeez. So as we can see here, I've got the Warlock out. Uh, I did do some raiding on the Warlock uh, with the community thing and um, oh I got a piece of tear. Look at that. That's not, isn't that nice? Because I was just about to say I really don't care. A crit verse tear. Ugh. Whatever. It's tear. Uh, that I really don't care to DPS anymore. Uh, in keys, I still think it's fun from time to time. But I think my main goal for... Uh, what did I replace? 252 Haste Mastery Pants? Whatever. I think my main goal right now for WoW and what I want to do is tank. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I also found that I because I haven't DPSed in so long, uh, raid leading while DPSing, I was just tunnel, tunnel visioning right into my my rotation stuff to try and make sure I was getting it right because I wasn't I hadn't played demonology in like a month and a half so I found that to be very very difficult so I think I'm just gonna stick with tanking so tanking is gonna be my thing Thursday we're going back in uh we are going to tear it up we're gonna go as far as we can in normal I'm thinking about adding a second raid date as well as I think I found a, uh, a co-tank that's going to be with me as well I think he said he decided on his warrior but things can change uh right up until the point of progress and things like that up next is the bear that's right i brought the bear back i brought the bear back that's not a thing that's not a sentence uh you should be saying unless you want kids <laughs> so i did do four keys on the bear and let's see what we got here we got a 265 verse mastery weapon very good a 268 crit haste hood uh the both of them are 252s, but if I'm going to be making any sort of tier, it's not going to be on the weapon. So let's go weapon. And the weapon has crit mastery, and I want to get rid of... Uh, I want to get rid of some crit. I have high crit. I want more verse and mastery here. So as long as I'm not losing haste, I think that's kind of a win. Uh, let's go with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no. Nice little... Nice new weapon. Boom, done. I am going to be playing more bear. It does seem like it is pretty fun. Uh, although, I'm kind of worried that the thing that's going to happen is uh, it, I play it for like a week or two and then I get bored of it. That tends to be how what happens to me with bear. There's nothing wrong with the class. It's fun. It's a, it's a, it's a great tank. Uh, it's just, to me, it's not the most it's not the most entertaining tank in the world for me. But then again, I don't like demon hunters and people love demon hunters. That's why there's six tank specs. Play the one that you like. Um, although I've been having fun with bear, having a soothe is very, very nice. That is one of the most underrated things I think in the game is having an actual soothe on a, on a tank and a dispel is just chef's kiss. Uh, so druid was a lot of fun. So happy there on the druid. Now the warrior, the warrior, I actually did all five tier bosses and I got a piece of tier. I got gloves, uh, all on normal. And I did four mythic plus. I did four mythic pluses. Now last week was uh, necrotic, so it wasn't exactly the most fun tanking week in the world. But let's see what we get on the prot warrior. So we have a new weapon, a two fifty nine crit haste. Uh, let's take a look at the the mod on that. I actually kind of do like that mod. That's nice. Ooh, we got legs. We got leg tier. Um, at normal 252, so that will be my two-piece. I will go over, the, go, go over the other options, but we all know which one I'm taking, right? Uh, <laughs> we have the Signet of the False Accuser, a 272 Haste Mastery Ring, and a 265 Crit Verse Bracers, but we are obviously going for the tier, giving my warrior the two set. Not too bad, man. Two out of three tunes are getting tier in the bank. Woo! So we put those uh, those beautiful pants on. Really, the mogs not all that beautiful. But we get the two set. Consuming 30 rage grants a stack of seeing red, which transforms at 8 stacks into outburst, causing your next shield slam or thunderclap to be 200% more effective and grant ignore pain. Ah, uh, yeah, um, yeah, this is, the, yeah, let's go, baby! That's kind of, I like this one. I think that's a lot of fun. Been lucky so far, man. I usually don't get this this sort of streamer luck. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but I'm definitely going to be excited to uh, to run more stuff on the Warrior. Because uh, I want to try out that two-piece. So the Monk is still sitting at zero pieces. Although I didn't bring the Monk into any raid yet. Um, so that's a thing. <laughs> uh, although I have tanked. I did tank another four keys. 
on the monk and i had a lot of fun doing it um streets is just oh oh my okay streets was cancer last week uh and there were just been huge nerfs into uh uh streets this week because i want to farm out one of the codex of the first trinkets i gotta farm it out on my dk and my monk because i'm really still not happy with my trinkets at all they're just stat sticks um which actually the gemstone of prismatic brilliance is not bad um because if we look here let's look at auras let's go over here uh it does proc a fair amount so i had like two minutes of two minutes of uptime on versatility two minutes and 20 seconds on haste uh, on critical strike sorry a minute 52 so I, all in all i had about eight minutes of uptime on this uh, on this dungeon so it's not terrible but i'm looking for some better trinkets so i'm really hoping for blood scale codex of the first technique or tier <laughs> not what i wanted all right so we have a 265 critical strike big crit little haste uh prismatic socketed uh neck which is nice i've only got a 255 i don't like the haste though the haste it could be a little blah but it does have a socket or 265 haste verse uh bracers which we're obviously gonna go with the big crit the big crit uh it got haste on it but i mean whatever you go with the big crit right that's what you got to do it's a nice little upgrade there and i can get my mastery from the uh whatchamacallit weapons of order so i'm gonna have to put in a socket on that one increasing my crit up to 37 percent. my haste is still only at eight percent so like i'm fine like i am good to go still no tier though but is what it is now this week i get to actually start having fun on my death knight again and it not being such a chore i did find for necrotic that being kyrian was actually uh not a big dps loss and a lot safer to play uh just because of necrotic i could go into certain packs and just be like all right i'm just gonna i have filed for this one pull big file it off i'll be fine let's let's go um although <laughs> um spiteful really is a it's a kyrian killer on that one because if you're the type of tank that uh just likes to pull and pull and pull and pull your file never goes on cooldown because the spitefuls keep you in combat so it <laughs> one of the things that i had to learn last week was to make sure that i was actually stopping all combat and letting things reset like health stones and uh and the kyrian files and everything like that so that was definitely a thing Ooh, okay, so what do we have here for the DK? We have a 252 normal two-hander, haste verse. Um, it does look okay, not not gonna lie, and Mog's not definitely not the whole big thing for me there. We do have a 278 haste mastery death's god signet. I like that haste. 214 haste. I really like that haste. But I already have a 252 loquacious as loquacious is that how you spell that to say that keepers paradox which gives me 214 haste and 44 critical strike really it's it's giving me more mastery but i don't really care the only i replace the death god signal which would give me 75 more haste and but i lose some critical strike mm, this is intriguing and then i also have a 272 crit mastery uh weapon now though i usually go for the weapon but it's only 272 which means I could upgrade one. So if I wanted to, I could spend Valor and upgrade the one that I have now, which is Crit Verse. And neither one of those are the stats that I really want to upgrade. So I'm kind of not like, if it had Haste Verse on it, on this 272, I'd probably be like, yeah, okay, cool. I think I, man, I think I got to go and replace the Death's God Signet, uh, the Blood Oath Signet with the Death's God Signet. I think that's what I got to do. Yeah, I, give me that big Haste. The Haste matters a lot right now. Also, what are the affixes? I think I had gone through them and think it was Quaking and Sanguine. Let's see if I was right. It is ugh, Quaking, Fortified, Bolstering, Quaking? Why do you hate me? Why do you hate tanks, man? Like, why do you do Fortified and Bolstering? That just utterly sucks. Uh, all right what does my haste go up to now 26 percent, not bad i'll take it i'll take the 26 percent haste but why you gotta do that to me man 
fortified bolstering tanks get ready to get your shit kicked today holy jeez oh <laughs> that's not a fantastic i hate bolstering fortified man that's just not a fun affix combo to deal with it's really really not uh I, oh, man i have not having the trinket luck monk needs trinkets dk's need trinkets and they won't drop bear needs trinkets um i'm set on trinkets for like so really what i'm looking for on my paladin right now so let's swap over to the paladin talk which i had a lot of fun with and i started testing out uh new uh a different soulbind adding in punish the guilty and getting rid of the haste uh because that's kind of what some of the new sims are coming forward with and i gotta say i liked it and i didn't so uh i so instead of having this here and going with the endurance contents and getting the three percent haste stacking up to five times uh you go here and you put it put in punish the guilty i um okay so i went into an across uh, a 15 dos where i average on average pulled 8.6 to 9 before with this setup here and then i went with here and then i did with that one and i did 9.6 overall very nice but then i went into a 16 halls which before my previous two 16 halls with this build here going down the middle was 10.6 and 10.4 or 10k like 10.6k overall and 10.4k overall and i went in and this is actually ending up at 9.3 overall which gave me a lot less so i'm kind of on the fence here but if you want to put in punish the guilty here on certain ones start paying attention to your overalls and kind of test this out a little bit and see which ones um i think with bolstering uh you're gonna want more of a i don't know if you want to target the bigger guys and you always want to make sure that your shield of the righteous does more damage to them this might be a good option this week but just saying so what i am looking for on the paladin 278 weapon 278 shield 278 blood scale a 278 good ring uh or a tier upgrade all right let's see what we got here so we have a 265 haste mastery bracers which i've got 262 crit verse could get rid of those there is a pocket proto forge which uh taking damage is a chance to fabricate an ally i think i got this and i traded it because it was simming like crap uh a two-handed critical oh uh, wait one-handed sorry I was worried there for a second about the two-handed uh crit mastery uh sword which kind of looks whatever wouldn't even take it for mog 278 haste verse gloves which i literally just got 262 versions of which is not bad 278 verse mastery bracers hmm hmm or a 278 crit mastery uh chess piece this is kind of interesting here this is not oh hmm hmm i'm really debating between the gloves and the bracers to be honest with you because i like these stats i have definitely a lot of access to haste so i'm not worried about haste right this I'm, like it's really not a concern 278 is nice i can just have them equip them set them and forget them uh these ones are out of the pictures the pocket proto forge i really i'm gonna have to take another look at that the weapon is psh, don't care 278 chest do i have a spare chest because see what i do if i do what like what i could do what i was hoping was to get tier gloves so i could wear these 278 haste mastery pants because i really really like those pants because their big haste and little mastery and i really really like that hmm 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 man options let's take a look at what wowhead says boom what wowhead says is the uh better of the uh the trinkets and because i know it's definitely not in the top top ones so what was it Ray? it was a raid trinket right yeah 
Weave Warp of Fates. No, 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 no. Let's see how far down we have to go. C minus for a pocket proto forge. Yeah, really. So it's definitely not even in the running. So <sighs> hmm. Oh one one of my guildies got a 278 ruby. <sighs> the gloves I can make into tier. The bracers I can just equip and keep and be happy and don't have to worry about it. And I'd be getting rid of crit, which is what I want to be doing anyway. All of those are garbage. I can still get tier gloves from the raid. Like, I can still get that. But the bracers, I mean, these are good stats. I'm going to go with the bracers. The bracers are just, I can just get them, set them, and forget them. I've got Abyss piece that, you know, I just don't have to worry about. I like versatility mastery. Um, we're good. See, just put them on. My item level goes up. Boom. Done. Uh, I lost literally zero haste and I lost 2% crit, which I have been trying to lose some crit. I, like, I really, really have been trying to lose some crit. Ah, uh, so yeah. I mean, all together, I can't say bad, like... Good, bad, whatever have you not. Uh, I actually, uh, the warrior got two piece. Uh, the warlock actually got a piece. It's probably never, ever gonna get used. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be trying to upkeep all of the vaults on my tanks this week. Um, at least doing a couple of keys here and there. So expect things like that. Uh, there is a brewmaster's guide, beginner's guide to brewmaster that is recorded. I just need to edit it together and put it up on the YouTubes, but expect that this week. And then probably next week, uh, I was really hoping for some tier, but, uh, I have talked enough to enough brewmasters that also play it and things like that to know kind of what the tier is, feels like to get a good sense of it. Uh, cause I don't want to put it out too early without really getting all my ducks in a row, but I've played enough brew this tier that I definitely have a good idea of what you should be doing and things like that, uh, how I've been playing it and you know, how to kind of get into it. Uh, if you're already timing twenties on brewmaster, there's nothing I could say that's probably going to be news to you, but you never know, you might learn something, but I am putting up the beginner's guide, which is base kit, what you need to know going into it, leveling it up. Uh, how to play it and really things like that that does not cover legendaries and covenants that'll all be in the 9.2 uh li discord link down below bloodstorm my guild is rating on thursday starts at 8 p.m eastern we are looking for healers and dps come on by uh you can sign up in the discord link down below twitch link down below as well uh for my streams if you want to come by and check that out and uh just lay yeah like comment subscribe if you, you want to see more of this stuff 18 minute vault video whoo this one's that it's been a while since we had one of these but thank you very much for listening to this long enjoy your guys' day and get into uh Tazavest streets because they just nerfed the ever loving crap out of it and also gambit got really easier this week as well but they added bolstering this week so they're like yeah we're gonna nerf it then we're just gonna just punch you into oblivion just the way it works but uh, i hope you guys are enjoying 9.2 as, as much as i am enjoy your day